All right, guys, welcome back to Bubba Third Eye Blind Tri-Clots. This is the last video for the day. Uh, honestly, I was just going to do this just in case I didn't hit the lock, but uh, as we've seen, the uh, heritage doesn't disappoint. So, uh, yeah, we got that sucker. So instead, what we're going to do is uh, we've got some E-State 12-gauge clay rounds. Our clay shooting rounds. There's a little bit of bird shot. And we got some Winchester 12 gauge, two and three quarter shells, uh, four shot turkey loads. We're going to put uh, one of these through it and about five or six of the E States through the shotgun. And the shotgun is my Mossberg 1988 Maverick 28 inch barrel which I'm still debating on whether or not to uh, have this professionally shortened, rather legally shortened, <laughs> I guess I should say. And uh, yeah, I probably won't, but yeah, it is a beauty of a shotgun. Now I've never fired this while sitting down. I'll also say that the chamber is clear no shells in it so far. What we're gonna do, we're gonna turn you around and we're just gonna see how, how far we can hit, uh, how tight of a spread we can hit on that target out there at about 11 yards. Uh, see if we can pepper it from here. And also I wanted to try out and see, uh, see how the uh, turkey loads does. So uh, let's get at it. I'm gonna turn you around, have you look at it one more time. Again, guys, if I ever get something to make it to where it's easier to Zoom in and not have to use the camera zoom in on the phone. I will do that. But for right now, sorry, you're gonna have to just deal with this. All right. We're going to load the turkey load in first, so it'll be the last shot we fire. Really don't want to use too many of these because there's only 10 of them. And uh, in case I go turkey hunting, I want to uh, have it. <laughs> They're high brass too. Oh boy. First. Ah, I guess it's just a five round tube. I thought it was a six round tube. Oh well. So we got uh, uh, five rounds. First, uh, the last round is going to be the uh, turkey shot. And the first four is going to be the, uh, the state. Let's go ahead and put that on safety. <laughs> Let's go put the target back up. And <laughs> smack that bitch. Oh, wow. Oh.
fast can see that, it peppered it pretty good. Looks like somebody with dandruff was over there and scratched their head over top of it. Now hopefully this next shot don't knock it down too. All right. Next shot of a state 12 gauge play load. Safety on. Get back up. I'm getting my steps in, people. I'm getting my steps in. Woo! Shotgun knows my fat rear end needs to do some walk. See if I press it in between two trees, we'll make it stand up for the next round. We even got to the turkey load yet. This thing's gotten knocked down twice. <laughs> All right. Safety off. Next shell is state 12 gauge. All right, that worked better. Fourth round, state 12 gauge. This thing's, uh, this pattern's kind of staying pretty tight. I don't got a choke in there right now. Knocked the orange bullseye right off of it. All right, guys. There's the turkey load. Not looking forward to it. Oh, boy. Here we go. Mm. Man, that high brass. Woo! All right, gun is clear. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> Man, it's peppered. Look at that. Yeah, I'd say uh, that's got some nice tightness on it, nice spread. You know, a foot wide target, about another 14 inches. Looking like it shoots pretty good. Yeah. Mossberg knows what they're doing. All right, guys, that's going to be it for me for today. That's... Uh, all the rounds I wanted to put through the 12 gauge and uh, like I said this is clear so uh, nothing inside of it so uh, yeah Mossberg Maverick 1988 model and uh, or model 88 rather uh, Mossberg knows what they're doing uh, this gun's probably about, I mean, I've had it for like 18 years, something like that. So, uh, yeah, guys, it peppered that target and uh, couldn't be happier with the results. Uh, thanks again, Rob, uh, Hamilton Outdoors, and uh, Rob over Firearms Attic for sending me this. That high brass, wow, that's, I was not prepared for that kick. Uh, <laughs> It's, it's been a while since the 12 gauge kicked hard, so uh, I, I probably didn't have it, had a tight enough grip on it, but uh, yeah, so that, that high brass, man, I didn't realize how much of a difference it was between shooting it and low brass. Uh, 
So yeah, guys, hope you appreciated the video. If you do like my content, you know, and you think I earned that subscription, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit the notification bell, and make sure it's set to all so that you know when new videos come out by me. Uh, also be sure to recheck all your other videos if you are subscribed to me and you have the notification bell turned on. Uh, always check your notification bell because sometimes YouTube's algorithm likes to turn that off. I think also YouTube's algorithm likes to uh, ban channels for no reason whatsoever at all without even giving any due process to the fact or any warning to the fact. So, uh, yeah. Because uh, they definitely did it with old Tim Miller over at uh, Treetop Outdoors. So, uh, yeah. Uh, make sure y'all stay safe. Uh, stay armed. Stay two-way strong. Have a fantastic day. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Y'all take care now, you hear?